Hello and welcome to Nimbus Soda Tigers PGA Tour 2005, the real time calendar. It's Justin Leonard's birthday. It's time for another one on one matchup. We should be fine, touch wood. Hopefully, it'll be easier than yesterday's episode. Hopefully, just a, a one, a one try of this. First attempt as I hit my speakers with my with my cup. But off to a great start. The tee shot here must be positioned to the right of the fairway to set up. Okay. Why would you hit that shot? You can just drive this to the end of. Oh, the wind's pretty bad actually. It's over here, and then the wind should hopefully keep it in the fairway. Yeah, that's worked out perfectly fine. Dead in the middle, perfect shot. Middle, just pure down the fairway. That's really long. Fairly, not bad. If we're lucky, the wind will mess them up a bit, but they, yeah, I generally know how to deal with it. Yep, a foot from the bed. He's a Ben Hogan fan, apparently. We have got a pitch shot. What about a flop shot? That's going to roll off the green. But I don't want to play it short because if I mess it up by even a little bit, it's into the bunker. This is right Ooh, that's a good shot. Nearly in, actually. Just too far to the right. But left edge will do it. Drops it for birdie. It's out of the hole. Just go wait for the par five where he doesn't have the power to get there, and we do. Got to be happy with any That's generally how you beat the uh, la the late game AI AI. AI. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak today. The late game AI, the hard AI, whatever you want to call it. This is a beautiful aquatic layout. With Unless you want to get like a holding one or something. Yeah, skew that on the backswing, so I tried to ca counteract, counteract that. So it's skewed left. But we get it close to the spin. And we should at least tie the hole. That was accurate, that, that was actually going to be a uh, potential hole in one. It's quite in line with the hole. I don't know what he's playing at. Check your yardage again, McCord. This is the fairway. He's happy with it, I don't know why. Maybe he knows something that I don't. Maybe he can get it in. Prick. Sinks the birdie putt. Well, it's Ray can win a par three against this, this AI, so we'll take the tie. It's got to be a par five at some point, surely. This great par five. Here we go, par five. Par five, here we go. It's a long one though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a long one. You're gonna blast it. He absolutely crushed it. Keep it in the middle. Crushed it. Second shot over the trees onto the green. So we can go one up. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he can get there. Nothing wrong with this drive. If he's stupid he'll go for it. I miss completely. Nice, no, playing that short. He's got a normal club out. Yeah, he's playing that well short. Going with a three iron for this shot. Three iron shot. Plays a safe and smart shot there. But we'd like to live on the edge. I'm gonna play the aggressive shot, a bit of power boost to counter the wind, but they should get pretty close. I can't be certain. It's fallen short. But this looks like it's heading But it's putable. The wind had more effect than anticipated. Two mile an hour wind, enough to cost it several yards. Need a more power boost. We'll get I close, but we have got a chance. I think that's Fantastic chip range, not putting in range. Oh, it's putting in range. Okay, that's fine. It might need. It might just need a blot. Yeah, it's pretty straight. Right edge. And just whack it. You call that a whack? Oh, this blowing it. Have the hole. We've bottled it. We've bottle jobbed it. 
That's your birdie. <sighs> I thought that was six feet. I'm blaming the caddy. It's all the caddy's fault. Might come down to a tiebreaker. We just hope for that hole again. Okay, a shot par four. Looks to be safely in the fairway. We're behind the tree, but we're getting it over it. I think we're far enough behind it. It's not going to affect us too much. This one's right down the middle. I mean, he's played the same shot basically, so we're fine. He's aim at it again, two feet from the pin. Ramping up the pressure on Lamington. Work up between two clubs now. Now, bit of power boost. We should be all right. Watch out! This could hit the flag. There we are. One foot. We'll, we'll, we'll beat him. There we are. He's two feet from the pin. We'll get one feet. Justin Leonard with a genuine birdie opportunity. I'm not sure why he wanted me to use the pitch and wedge. Sandwich power boost w w would be enough. The wind isn't that effective against a sandwich. What a fantastic match! Dead even. We'll take the tie. We should be one up, but we, we blew it. But we're still even. I know we've got to do is win. It's not like the uh, legend scenarios where you, you have to win by two. You can just water, you just have to win. Nearly everywhere says one. Right, five iron. Fantastic swing. Oh, that's close. That's close. I didn't want to risk too much spin because I want the tie. Par three, the odds of you winning are low, so if we can guarantee you know the tie at least, you're doing all right. That's a good shot. He stopped it dead. The first real chance for it, well, second real chance for him to miss. The first time he chipped it in, the second one, he's got to put a 14 foot putt. Uh, put. It's doable. And he's done it. He's missed it. Oh, that's impossible. The gate is open for Langston. Finally, a real chance here. Converts his pot. I say finally a real chance. We had a real chance before in the par five, and we, and we blew it. But we can't blow that, that pot. Shot has won the hole. It's a dummy one situation. A little slipping match from both competitors here. They've been pretty good, but not great. Lemmingston finally takes the lead. A word of advice on one of God's most spectacular. It's a standard, standard par four. Aim for the right, the wind will blow it to the left. It should be pretty uh, central. This is one of the best drives yeah, it is. Today. 55 yards to be, should, should be a simple approach. This should play well from here. Imagine night three. Yeah, he's got a tougher approach over the over the over the lake, but he should be fine. Bit of a lucky bounce there, three feet from the pin. If we can just get this close. Bit of power boost. The wind will help a little bit. Oh, too much spin. Should have left that. Doesn't get much better than that. This is for the matchup. But make sure you got enough power on that. And drain it. Congratulations to Justin Leonard on his birthday. And to you for this victory here today. There we are. A little sloppy there. Uh, but ultimately a win is a win. I don't think we've got anything for that. Apart from money. I will check, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. No, right. Uh, no, we didn't. They can give you, like, animations and that, but not this time. I think the next time we've got, like, five in a row. I must press yes, not no again. Yeah, we do. So we have Father's Day, Charles Howell's first birthday, Summer solis uh, Solstice, 
the full moon, and then Colin his birthday. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some Let's Play Tigers PJ Till 2005. It will time calendar.